if you are trying to live a more active, healthy life and include some exercise, but you're exhausted, then I have a few tips for you. I understand this very well. I have struggled with fatigue and autoimmune and depression and different variations or different expressions of fatigue in my life. And as someone who aims to live an active, fit, healthy life, when I'm exhausted and burnt out and weak and achy and maybe even lightheaded, just completely adrenal fatigue, burnt out, right? Exercise, while I know it is beneficial, movement is medicine and it will boost my mood and all these wonderful things, the thought of it feels downright impossible. Like when I'm in those moments, and I think you know what I mean, this is not just I'm a little bit tired, I could use a nap, or I didn't sleep well. This is like, I got nothing, right? Walking up a flight of stairs is exhausting. So the thought of a workout is just not a thing that I can even comprehend. <laughs> and again, as someone, specifically as someone who has made fitness my career over the last nine years, teaching group fitness and personal training, um, this has affected my work. It not only has affected my life, but it has affected my work. And I've had to cancel classes and reduce my schedule and change how I do things. So I want you to know that I really, really get this. I'm not just here like to fluff you up and say, you can do it and you know, whatever. This sucks. Um, this is one of those moments where like motivation is not the problem. Normally you have the energy and you could work out normally as in most people, right? But you don't really feel like it, so you don't. This is the flip. I am motivated, I want to move, I want to work out. I know it will help me feel better, but I can't. I've got the motivation, I don't have the physical ability. So this is a different scenario than what most people come to, you know, a personal trainer or a health coach for advice on. Let me get to the tips. Here we go. My first tip is to reduce your expectations significantly. So if you are used to doing intense workouts, hour long workouts, whatever it might be, scale it way the heck down. Like on a scale of one to 10, we're at one, <laughs> right? Way the heck down. Lower your expectations reduce the intensity. I'll give you some practical examples once we get through this. Two is to reduce the time. So again, if you're used to doing 30 minutes, 60 minutes, whatever, maybe you do two minutes. Um, I have a personal philosophy I call the five minute rule. I will do something for five minutes because on my good days, by about three minutes in, I kind of like wake up and and get that second wind and I'm like, all right, I'm in it, let's go. On my bad days, five minutes is torture. Like I get to that three minute mark and I'm waiting for it to kick in and it's not kicking in. <laughs> so five minutes, check, complete, done. I did something for the day and five minutes is better than no minutes. And the third tip is to be gentle. Have some self-compassion be kind with yourself. Know that this is not in your head. You are not lazy. This is a very real thing and your body is telling you that it is exhausted. So this ties in with the first tip, tip is to do gentler forms of exercise, but reduce the intensity, not just duration, but the actual effort you have to put into it. So again, when I'm having those phases, whether it's a day or weeks or months, <laughs> um, I may just do some really super gentle yoga, 
stretching, really slow movements. I might get on my indoor cycle and just, you know, without cranking the resistance up, without going fast, just really gentle. Um, over last winter during COVID, well, still during COVID, but you know what I mean, during the first winter with COVID, um, I was I was at a really low point, the lowest I've been in many years. And I would, I have a dog. You may have met her. She's the cutest thing alive. But anyway, I would force myself to walk a few laps around my backyard every time I took her out. Um, now, I could take her out and just stand there, and I have done that, but I forced myself to circle. And I, I make rules with myself, like three laps. And if I do three laps, okay, fine, call it done. If I feel good and I want to do more, sure. If not, I'm done. So little things like that. Set teeny tiny small goals. Reduce your expectations. Reduce the intensity. Be gentle. Be kind. Be accepting of where you're at at the moment and know that it, it will get better. Give it some time. Let your body heal. Be kind. Focus on low intensity movement like walking, gentle yoga, stretching, giving your joints and your body the care and attention and compassion that it needs. Okay, so I said I'd give you some specific examples, and I think I have already, but just in case, you know, you need more. Really gentle stroll. Like, don't be in a hurry to, like, I'm going to walk a mile in 15 minutes or whatever your kind of goal or pace is. Stroll. This is casual, slow, chill. If you have a dog, that will help because it will stop and sniff a lot, so you'll get a chance to chill. Uh, don't bring your phone with you if you can help it. Just detach, breathe, move. And again, like I said, yoga, if you don't like yoga, just do some really gentle, easy stretching, you know, one arm up, you know, round, anything, just to loosen up, to move, focus on your joints if you can, some shoulder circles, um, some stretching for your hips and your lower back would be helpful really i've said it a thousand times and i'll say it again and again and again be gentle be kind be compassionate but don't give up the key here is that you're doing something so these little two to five minute movements breaks whatever you want to call them don't don't look for a workout at this point just short bursts of low intensity movement throughout the day as consistently as much as you're able to will really 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 make a difference I promise the hardest part is getting started but once you've started it won't happen overnight like I said it might take days weeks months depending on what's going on with you and and your circumstances I don't I don't know I can't make promises but I can tell you that it is possible to get past this. It is possible for you to gain your energy and your strength and your mojo back and get back into some more intense, longer, actual workouts. But for now, for now, my friend, just move as much as you can, as often as you can, in whatever way that looks like for you. And don't be so hard on yourself. All right, until next time, take care of yourself. Make sure to subscribe, like this if it was helpful, share it with a friend. I'll see you on the flip side.